Yeah, they were awful to work with, but Listen, at least... Mate. I've known you a long time. <laughs> we're still in separate hotel rooms. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello. Right. As you can see, we've loaded out, and I forgot to get the camera and <laughs> record it. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday the 7th of May. The day after bank holiday. The day after a long weekend sorting this lot out. Got to get the brick acid on here. After splashing it with concrete. Well, no, up to there anyway. Yes, it's plastered. So yeah, we're due to have skill builder turn up today. I've not heard from them yet, as of yet, but we just crack on regardless. Still got a porch to build, so we've got um, some bricks in the van. I think we've got 60 in the van, because we're on the buff bricks now. And then we've got um, loads more around the back. So we're okay for bricks, so we're just gonna go start loading out. So it's I think it's 12 course of buff, 2, 4, 6, 8, um, yeah, 12 buff. And then um, you need to get the window out, which we bought ages ago, and get that set out because we need the soldiers going under the windows, wherever that comes. It's a lot higher up than this, I think it's going to be up here somewhere. So, um, yeah, let's get some brick round and get set up, profiles up, and get a mix on. Right, as you can see we've loaded out and I forgot to get the camera and <laughs> record it. So, I've got the new bricks mixed in with the old bricks. The new bricks are a lot more vibrant than the old bricks. Brilliant. That should be enough for the uh, the 12 courses. We need to root out the window now and then um, so we know what size the window is going to be. And that gives us our bottom of our window. And then hopefully Christy will be back soon later when she wants to tell us where she wants the window. So we're um, sticking on time that's for a bit longer while we get sorted out. So we've got him um, cutting the cavity out I've decided. It's only a 50mm cavity but I'm still going to cut it out so it's continuous. And then um, <coughs> now it's getting a mix on in a minute. I think we're going to wait and do everything while Roger and Dylan are here so see what they want to record and what they don't. So yeah, we'll just get ourselves set up and load it out for now. Sorry, just let me just put that down. I thought I could do it without looking. There's three buttons in there, so it's getting the Yeah, right you got these DJI yeah. ones, they're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, and, sorry Alex, I'm going to stick one on you. Okay, no worries. So, stick one on you, and... It's recording, it is recording. Okay, right. Yep. Now we're ready. Oh. Now we're still busy. <laughs> Stephen Alex from Alex and Steve, Stephen Alex, bricklaying, or whichever way you want to say it. Anyway, they've got a great YouTube channel and we've been talking for a long time about coming up and seeing them. It's happened at last and the sun's shining, so they're going to show me what I can learn about bricklaying in a day. Okay. Is that alright? We'll go with that. So what's the job, boys? Uh, do the porch. Yep. Which is... Um, 2.99 meters squared. The reason for that is anything under three meters doesn't need planning permission. Oh, okay. I did check. So <laughs> um, it's as big as we can get without all the all the lard and the big mill. Uh, Alex's mum really makes it a lot bigger. We, we won in the end, didn't we? Yeah. But it's been a um, it's been a right slog to get up to this stage now, but we're actually on the brickwork doing what we're right doing. Right now, one thing we get asked an awful lot when people tag these things on is they're gonna cut the cavity. There's two schools, aren't there? Yeah, the um 
I, I personally like the idea of cutting the cavity, although I don't like the dust and the mess, but um, the continuous cavity, I just think it, it's better because you've got the, you've got the, you don't need damp coats for a start because you've got the brake, and then you've got the continuous insulation, which is, um, it's the cold bridging thing. Okay. <coughs> so these are the starter profiles, or the starter tiles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Furfix profile because that was the guy who invented them. I actually know him. Um, so the idea is you cut the cavity down there so that you don't have the cold bridging from here to the inside. But um, yeah, it's a it's a fair distance away from the corner anyway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it would be all right. Yeah, it's got a good return. Um, and you don't like these. I'm coming round to them actually. <laughs> <laughs> Going way back when I did conservatories, yeah. we used to use you know, the, just the angle basket. Yeah. And they also masonry nail and then they progressed us to bluebirds, which I really liked, and then bluebird got ridiculously expensive. Did they? Yeah, they're about 20 each now. Oh. The stained ones. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the weld doesn't always hold, the weld sometimes snaps off mm, them. Yeah. So we started going for the frame tires from screw fix and yeah. tool station, it looks a lot cheaper. Which is just like a, a curl, and right. they're zinc coated. Yeah, yeah. And then they're ten quid for twenty five, so they're a lot cheaper. Yeah. They go into a ten mil hole as well. Yeah. Whereas um, these, we've, we've so do you fix it in the brick or do you fix it in the the mortar? You go into the mortar bed, but you go in an angle. Yeah. So you're into the brick, and then screw it in, and then flatten it. So it's yeah. it's like fixed. It's never going to pull. But it, it, the thing about <laughs> this is, it's not actually stopping anything that way because mm -hmm. it, you know it can't and it wouldn't you know unless yeah. your foundations drop mm -hmm. you're not getting anything it's this isn't it it's, yeah. it's that way that yeah. it's just trying to stabilize the brickwork a bit you know but quite honestly um it's going to do the job whatever yeah. you use it's going to do the job the old cut nails in back yeah. in the day weren't they yeah. 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 inspector see now isn't it this is it's to allow for movement in the extensions and porches now yeah yeah, yeah. The local authority, yeah. 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 When, when I started in this game, when I was bricklayer's labourer, we used to have to tooth out. Okay. Yeah. It was always a pick because you'd tooth out like this and it would just snap the brick. Would snap yeah. At that last minute. Oh. No cordless drills, no, no. no grinders, no. <laughs> You don't, want to, but you don't want it to be too upright because it won't match the rest of the house. No. <laughs> don't want to show the rest of it up now.
your shoulder there, I wasn't getting anything. Okay. So I was on your shoulder there and I wasn't getting any blowback or anything. It's good. Oh. It works. <laughs> Sorry, Roger, mind your... Yeah, I just needed a professional on the job. <laughs> so there we go. Obviously it's been a bit hectic so I've not had a chance to film. But there we go. First course is in and Dad's getting set up and uh, I've been replaced now by Roger. He's off he's there on the trail. Oh I'm sorry, I wasn't filming you Roger. <laughs> <laughs> So if you haven't if you haven't uh, noticed already, we uh, Roger and Dylan, skill balls right here, filming us uh, do our porch. What a bit of a tour! Aye. We got as far as Ellesmere Port, seeing Kirk, and then we thought, oh, what's wrong? We're going a little further north. Happy Marjorie for ears in the comments when you come up to see us. Now I just want to explain something so those people who don't know anything about bricks and brick lane. Before they started making these what we call sand flace, which is basically just that they blow the coating on there, you used to get a proper brick that was made all the way round. Now they don't blow anything on the back edge. So you can't use that back edge as a fake. Trouble is if you get a chip like that, you don't want to be using it on the face. So you used to be able to say, right, you had a chip on that side, you can turn the brick over and hopefully you had a good face on the other side. But now, because you've only got one face, you can't spin the brick over. So all those bricks, okay, sometimes you can use them as a cut, toss them down and use them as a cut. But as Sam Ward was saying, on his job, he was losing, say, 30% of his bricks because they've got chips on them. And the bricks were costing him a couple of quid each. And the merchants don't take them back because the merchants say, well, you just got to take pot luck with it. Our local merchants won't outrageous. stop them. Sorry? Our local merchants won't stop them. They, they won't, won't take these at all. London bricks they won't stock them. So, so there are that many comebacks from them. So the problem is there. If they've built a house using these bricks and you've got to match them, what do you do? Because people go, oh, don't use them, don't use them. But you're kind of stuck, aren't you? You know. I mean, they managed to get a beautiful match here, really. So you can see why they're going to use them. The amount of uh, places on site where you just see the skips full of bricks because there's yeah. that many waste. Yeah, and that's all right if you're, if you're not a guy paying for them. That's absolutely fine, isn't it? Well, when I was an apprentice, anything that was chipped got used inside. Yeah, it's common yeah. bricks. But now you're not allowed to use bricks with blocks. It's got to be the same material because of thermal efficiency or thermal value or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So the bricks go in and skip. I think they crush them a bit now, but a lot of them just get thrown away. Yeah. yeah there you go. So um, we're doing a little, little full steam ahead project. Yeah. And, um, Obviously, oh, I'll, get on the, I'll get on the trail as well, but um, yeah, little, yeah, little you know, skill builder Brooklyn with Steve and Alex collab. I'll uh, get you set up somewhere so you can see it all unfold on time lapse. Uh, so yeah, catch you in the next part. I'm working for a bricklayer, just laid in. They used to hand all the bricks off the lorry. Yeah. There were no pallet high abs, anything like that. Nope. The bricks arrived and you had a bang, 
half day of just unloading them from the back of a lorry, stacking them up. We were still using commons for foundations when I started, and these really? used, used to come loose on the truck, just tipped in the mud. So you want a tight perp here? Yeah, please. Um, they've, got, they've got a bit of an edge on them anyway, so the perp might be bigger be, than it looks. I might be too tight there. Well, Tennis right. doesn't matter because you tell me three three quarter bean in it. Yeah. Is that too tight? That's fine. Is it? it? And when you've got a piece in it, you want to keep the piece as big as possible. The ugly hour. Yeah. yeah. I've pretty much lived my life like that. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody has up lighters and down lighters. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, terrible, isn't it? It just shows it. Really That's bad. the worst, isn't it? As yeah. soon as somebody puts a light on the wall, yeah. you can just see, you think, oh my god. I do think you're brave doing that, mate, because I would do that with a cutter. Yeah. Because I just. I'll never get it clean enough. That's nice. Because they're not the easiest things to do, these, are they? They're awful. Yeah, a lot of people say you should use a hand but they'll just disintegrate. Yeah, they will. And do you ever do it with a trowel or not? On common work, maybe, but not on face work. Or if you need a half, just whack it.
never touch your face of your brick. If you want it, you control everything from the top. So oh, okay. Tap Don't tap it in and out. So if you're, if you're slightly out of the way, tap it at the back. Yeah. Set, or tap it at the front. Good. Don't touch. Don't tap the face. No. Because that's yeah. where you get the little marks. Can we just do that again? I want to come around where you are, Roger. Yeah, I'll just get out of the way. It's all more advanced how we do it. We just stick the GoPro up on a bloody level or a piece of wood. And we've got all the proper camera angles and the shots. I'll just put this in, I'll show you in the next club. Well, no pressure, three people watching the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> a council job? Huh. <laughs> Everyone's on it. <laughs> this is what we're up to now before the little hold up. We've run out of black dye, so Dad has gone to supply us up with some black stuff. Right, we've just um, we've done it into camera. Yeah. We're just regrouping after lunch. I've been to get some black dye because we've run out of black dye. Bye bye. I'll just get any mix in. So he's just saying goodbye to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. bye. See you later. Bye, bye Alex. Bye, Alex. <laughs> the star of the show gone, gone home. So let's let's set this window out. And see where it's going. It's going now. Yeah. Ciao. 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 I'm going to make course of You get a thumbnail, it, while it's overpassed like this, it's quite even longer. You get a thumbnail image, you get one the van, we get another one by the wall as well. After Roger's got his picture. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Good, isn't it? Mm. Well, let's go put a good share thumbnail. Six. Yeah. I did it. I just carried on taking it. You never know. Sometimes happy accidents. You never need a blurred image of me. You never know happy accidents. So this is where he was last seen before he disappeared into York. Yeah. Shambles. You know the shambles. Yeah. Never been to York. I've never been to York. Tonight, when you're in York, the shambles is quite the famous part of York. And it's where the slaughterhouse. That's what they call the shambles, the yeah. slaughterhouse basically. Yeah. It's where they used to bring all the old cattle in and just. Dad, yeah. what do you want to do about the next then? Yeah. See the drains there in the road with the blood. Hey, what's left? Yeah, it's on the boards. Oh, I'll just use what I've got. Especially this wheel, please. Put it on the side. Sacrificial lamb. Oh. 
for them. Right, in real cash. I think this is which, which um, has become known uh, to mean chaotic, but was originally meant a butcher's slaughterhouse. Mm. Smithfield Market. Smithfield Market. Yeah. Smithfield. Been having too many. Been having too many. Well, not really. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. It's in Challenge now. No, not near. No, it's on yeah. the other side, isn't it? It's been in space. Yeah. Most of all, it's up from uh, Black Pine. Thank you again, Reverend. It's a bit of a Harry Potter film. Thank you. It's a bit of a Harry Potter film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think on it. Is, is that the one? It's not even worth me telling you the next bit. <laughs> the next bit is, it was built by the same architect that built Tower Bridge. Uh, and he also built Leadenhall Market. So they've all got that same raw iron yeah. stained glass vibe about them. Yeah. The best bit of Tower Bridge is the bit you don't see where the, the chambers were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That's all brick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they built that, um, you know, they built uh, to I mean, sink the things down into the Thames and then pump all the water out to get down. It wasn't, it didn't go well. It wasn't easy. I don't think the architects ever lived to see it done. No. I think he died in the early early days of it. But. It's like all the canals things, they just got on with it back then, didn't ah, they? Yeah, unbelievable. I bet they never were able to push it. Well, they, yeah. they, built stuff. they took the time to build stuff as well. Yeah. But nowadays it's like you're going to get it done within the margin. Targets. Look at the pyramids. Mm. Yeah, well you know who built the pyramids, the Irish. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the aliens. <laughs> nobody else could build, lift those bricks. It was <laughs> Number stamp on it. Do we win something? <laughs> you get to visit the brick factory. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the movie. Till it closed out. Hmm. Well, how else are we going to get to the stage where we can charge a two pound fifty a brick? Mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. You guys should call us, Dad. Yeah. One, two. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Let's check it. 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 <laughs> it's a common reaction. What? I'll tell you what, mate. He's never been more relaxed. This is true. And he's earning more money than he ever earned on the building. Yeah. He said, I don't, I don't think he's given to bullshit, Jones. He said to me, he can earn 350 quid in a day. And most days he's home half three. Four o'clock Yeah. He's got, he took over somebody's room. He's got a fair number of customers. And he said what he's going to do is build the roundup, do it for another few years, and then sell the round. Sell it. Dad, mm -hmm. you only more than 20 yellows as well, remember? Yeah. You got, you got soldiers under your window? Yeah. Whereabouts is the window going? We need to ask your woman that, she's not sure she's going to that for her. Well, best ask her soon before we, uh, we're not going to get into it. No, I mean, like, so we know where to go before we, uh, obviously the soldier course is three courses below it, isn't it? Yeah. It's on course 11. Yeah, he's doing that old pole. He's doing the climb up any ladders, just uses that pole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Squirts it, you know, does it all. Good on him. I saw a few people go to window cleaning that and like um, and power washing, like yeah, yeah, yeah. washing people's drives. Yeah, I, know. I had a machine for doing that at one point. I thought this is all right. You know, it's like the drive along, not a yeah. pressure jet, you know, but not hard, is it? Especially when people are selling the house and they just want to make it look a bit smarter. But yeah. I've got a YouTube channel doing it, he's got a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. Really? Yeah. They made a video game about it, about just power washing stuff. Well, it's nice to see progress. Yeah. I'm sure Mum won't be happy as well. Um, what do you want to do with the rubbish then? Should we just round it up and put it in buckets until we get another skip? Or a bottle or a tin bag. Chuck it in the next door neighbours. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite surprised we didn't get any hours actually. I'll go back and bag them. That's another one when you spread. Bias it towards the feet. See, it Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like that. So it just yeah. pushes. Right, well, and then I don't finish. Alex doesn't have such a lot of donging up. That's it. It's filling all my joints. You, how do you do it? Yeah. You, you angle your trowel so it pushes it to the front. Yeah, but it's all fake for it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it looks like a good job. Mm. Right, that other thing of putting the frogs upside down, isn't it? Oh. It's like, save yourself some pug. I put a short video up. Big bricks. That's it. And then... He put a short study out for him. And it was um, showed the frog. And the amount of people who went mad because they said you shouldn't get that bricks and frog down. So a lot of things you shouldn't do, but at times you need to. And there are reasons, Whoop. aren't there? Pull away. Check it out. I'm going to find a water bill now. Get it back in line. Perps up. In you go. I said no, I did that. 
Amazing. <laughs> Do you know what? If I didn't learn any more than that one tip today, it would have been worth the journey. <laughs> that's good. That's really good. Oh, you've got to do the cut. I'll leave that to you. Another mortar. Yeah. Is there any gear whatsoever over there? I can try and scoop some out. I'll scoop some out of the holes. Yeah. That's the go-to. Be really short. Right. Should we do, do this just thumb there? Yeah. Just don't put that final one in there. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Good job, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. Yeah, Someone nice. behind you saying, Good Dude. job. Little cheerleader. She can follow me around for the rest of my life. <laughs> Good job, Rog. <laughs> don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it for the money. Some of the uh, slightly chipped ones are looking a bit better now. <laughs> oh, now we run out. Yeah, yeah. You think, oh, okay. Do you know what? I, I read about that in their, in their literature. And they they talk about an acceptable number of chips per square metre. Yeah? Yeah. Come your ass, isn't it? to decide. To yeah. go, oh, you know, ten chips per square metre or so. I don't know what it was, but... I thought bloody hell, and they're going to, oh, it shouldn't be viewed close up, it should be viewed from the road or something, you know, like... Well, what if it's a feature wall in the house, or something? Or something? Or something? No, just that. I just thought, what a get out. Made up of all kinds of recycled stuff. A bit it's, of it's, 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 it's what they call a medium... <laughs> medium density block. There's a bucket of water there, why don't you choose that? Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> in a bucket of water. Cheers, my friends. The other thing that I was guilty of when I was a labourer. Okay, right, let me just do another one. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Right, could you just zoom up so I can... Just, well, not zoom up. Move up <laughs> so I can see. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, if you just have another go at it. My videos right? are so un underproduced. Where's Aid? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Right, there's one more thing I've got to do to them. Yep. So, there's Dylan packing and Roger packing up. Okay. Had a good laugh. Nice chill day. Just throwing a few bricks in. We've run out of bricks, unfortunately. 
me trying to be smart and not get too many. But um, never mind, as I said, I know where they are to buy some more, and they're only 51 pence each, so oh, it's just tidying it up. They are horrible bricks to work with. And Probably awful brick for Roger to have his first going brick work. They're awful. The way the weather's going too. Yeah. These were just drying up instantly. Yeah. Bit of black water in the dyes just really dried up really quick. So yeah, we've had a great day. It's been a long time coming, but we've got there in the end. <laughs> Can't do that. Hmm. Of the tall ones on the left. <laughs> Come quite close, Chris, so it's like fills the frame. <laughs> then take Continuing. take a couple and take one the other way. Not that he's trying to tell you what to do. Really. <laughs> we, should have, we should have the branded gear like Steve and Alex. Yeah, yeah. Alex and Steve, that's the trouble. Yeah, take a it? couple. The just trouble, they get, they get all the shirts printed up. <laughs> then they change change their mind, they're going to call it Alex and Steve. Well, I think you've just, you've just got to go with what's on the shirt. Yeah? That's what you've got to do. Steve and Alex. There you go. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You said it's Alex and Steve no, this no, morning. No, no. Oh, this morning. That's, 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 that's the YouTube morning. handle. This is a fluid situation. Have you got a YouTube handle for Skill Builder? Um, I think it's just Skill Builder. Yeah. yeah well, that's, 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 the, that's Steve and Alex build. That's the pretty YouTube short call. Yeah. Because that was probably the worst title. So that, that really long line, you call that a shortcut? Yeah. Compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really snappy. It'll take me, snappy it'll take me a minute to type that in. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. Cheers. Is it done? You took plenty of both. He just wants to do his outro. That was painless. Yeah. Wasn't it? That was strangely not. Nearly done. The other one. I even forgot to smile. Some portrait, <laughs> do some landscape. Right, Alex. You get in the middle. You're yeah, going in the middle. You. What was that? You're just going to do his outro. What, what was that what was it? for? <laughs> no, it's just a. <laughs> Listen, mate. I've known you a long time. <laughs> We're still in separate hotel rooms. <laughs> I just want to let people know. So that'll be the end of our video today with. Uh, Roger and Dylan from Skill Builder, thank you very much for coming down. It's been a joy. I've enjoyed it. And I never knew it was so warm and balmy up here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might stay. But <laughs> well, once we had one up on the south. Yeah. My dad came from Lancashire. Yeah? Yeah. He got out. Haywood, have you heard of Haywood? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. But, uh, I'm going to get the mix done. Then me and Chris are going to head off to South Coast to get the door ordered. And then um, get back here and have some tea. And Alex is going to do the rest of the tidying up for me. So let's get this done. Yeah, there we go. Is um is the fussiest cu customer happy with the uh, with the progress? I am. Yeah, it's lovely. DL. So yeah, obviously they've uh, Roger and Dylan. Dylan. Roger and Dylan have just gone off now, so I will. Uh, off to Yorkshire. Yeah, off to Yorkshire. Yeah. But yeah. They were awful to work with, but at least they matched the house. I'll edit that. Sounds like Roger and Dylan have just gone off to your oh. They were awful to work with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bricks were awful to work with. Roger and Dylan were great. The bricks were terrible to work with, but at least it matches the uh, the um, existing. But yes, yeah, so is this going to be in the other part or? Um, yeah, because it's there, isn't it? Because they're in the video, I think, yeah. Yeah. Do one anyway, because yeah, it's better to have too many. Yeah, because it'll be quite a short uh, video, won't it? Yes. Either way, I'll uh, do you a sign out anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, let's drop this apple pies. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you're always notified when we upload, which is a massive help. Any additional support, which isn't necessary, you can do the super thanks under the video or the PayPal desk description, which again isn't necessary by any means, but it's a great way to swear. Support me and Dad on the channel. But yeah, this has been Brickling with Steve, Alex, featuring Skill Builder. And we'll see you in the next one. Fussiest customer. <laughs>